Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And good morning uh, We will continue with lecture 3 of 6 And for this chapter At the end of the lessons uh, Students should be able to To apply the rules of differentiations So we have 4 rules here uh, First one is Basic rules Okay And Second one is sum rules uh, third one is product rule and fourth one is quotient rule okay. uh, first one the basic rules here so this one right so what does it mean here is this one the derivative of a constant functions constant rule if k is a real number then the derivative of fx equals to k is f prime x equals to 0. In other words, the derivative of a constant function is 0. Right? So we have example 1 here. Question A. Find the derivative of fx equals to a. And for this one, we will have f prime x equals to zero and question b we have y equals to set three and this time we will have dy over dx equals to zero and for question c we have fx equals to e3 and this time we will have f prime x equals to zero then Rule number two, the derivative of a function of form x power of n or power root. If n is a real number, then the derivative of fn, fx equals to x power of n is f prime x equals to nx power of n minus 1. So example two, here we have fx equals to x5 so therefore our f prime x equals to 5x4 that is example a and example b we have fx equals to set of x3 and for this one we can write this one as this one equals to x 3 power of 3 over 2. So therefore our f prime x equals to 3 over 2. So we have x then we have power of 1 over 2. Okay. And this one we can write our final answer as 3 over 2 set x. then our third rule is the derivative of a functions of the form kx power of n or we call it constant multiple rule okay so if k and n is a real number then derivative of fx equals to kx power of n is f prime x equals to k n x power of n minus 1 and we have example 3 here Oops, sorry this one uh, we have y equals to 4x power of minus 3 over 2 so this one our dy over dx is so first we have minus 3 over 2 then we have 4 then we have x and for the power we minus 1 so minus 3 over 2 minus 1 we will have minus 5 over 2 okay we simplify this one we will have minus 6 over x 5 over 2 then example 3a 
and for 3b we have fx equals to 9 over x square and for this one we can write this one equals to 9 x power of minus 2 and our f prime x equals to minus 2 multiple multiply by 9 and then we have x power of minus 3 then we simplify this one we will have minus 18 over x power of 3 10 next one we have the derivative of a sum or difference of functions okay or we call it sum or different sums rule so if ux and vx are differentiable functions then the derivative of fx let's say we have ux plus vx is f prime x equals to u prime x plus v prime x this is the first one for the sum and for the difference we have fx equals to u x minus vx and f prime x should be u prime x minus v prime x we have example 4 here find the derivative of a fx equals to 2x square minus 5 set so x and for this question first one i rewrite this one as 2x square minus 5x power 1 2 then i can find my f prime x so f prime x equals to 2 2 x minus 1 over 2 so we have 5 this time we have x power of minus 1 over 2 then we simplify we should have 4x this one should be 4x minus 5 over 2 set x this is example 4a and for b what we have here this one we only have gx here sorry and for this one gx here so first one i rewrite this one so we will have so x cube plus 1 over 2 x square minus 4 x power of minus 1 over 4 right and our g prime x should be this one is 3 x square plus 2 1 over 2 and this one should be x minus minus 1 over 4 then we have 4 we have x and this one is minus 1 over 4 minus 1 so we should have minus 5 over 4 and then we simplify so we simplify we have 3x square plus x plus we cancel off this 4 so we will have 1 over x power of 4 by 5 over 4 then now we have the derivative of a product or we call it product rule right so if you x and vx are differentiable functions then the derivative of fx equals to ux multiplied by vx is f prime x equals to ux multiplied by v prime x plus vx multiplied by u prime x the product rule can also be written in functions notation as u multiplied by v prime 
equals to u multiplied by v prime plus v multiplied by u prime. So we have example 5 here. Differentiate the following functions by using product rule. So here we have question A, we have y equals to x plus 1 and 1 minus 3x squared. And for this one, this one is our u and this one is our v. Okay, so let, let e, our u is x plus 1 and our u prime equals to 1. And our v equals to 1 minus 3x square and our v prime equals to minus 6x so what is our dy dx so our dy dx equals to and for product rule we start with this one first right so we have x plus 1 minus 6x plus so next one we have this one okay so we have 1 minus 3x square multiplied by 1 so now we have applied our product rule then we simplify so first one we have minus 6 x square next one we have minus 6x and then this one we will have 1 minus 3x square and we simplify so we will have minus 6x square minus 3x square we will have minus 9x square this one is minus 6x and last one is plus 1 so we done example 5a next one is the derivative of a quotient rule so this one is we call it quotient rule all right so if u x and v x are differentiable functions then the derivative of f x equals to u x over v x this one is f prime x equals to v x multiplied by u prime x minus u x multiplied by v prime x over v x v x square so in terms of function notations we have u over v prime so we have v multiplied by u prime minus u multiplied by v prime over v square so example 6 here we have y equals to x minus 1 over 1 plus x so this one should be our u and this one should be our v so u equals to x minus 1 and u prime equals to 1 and our v equals to 1 plus x and v prime equals to 1 and for our dy dx we should have first one we cross multiply this way first so we will have 1 plus x multiplied by 1 minus we mul cross multiply this one we will have x minus 1 multiplied by 1 over v square which is 1 plus x square right and then we simplify we should have so it's 1 plus x then the second one we should have like minus x and plus 1 over 1 plus x square and this one equals to 2 over 1 plus x square then example 6a 
Next one, we have y, no, fx equals to x minus 3 over 4 minus 3x squared. Okay. And our u should be from the numerator. And our v should, from, should be coming from the denominator. Alright. So our u is equals to x minus 3 and u prime equals to 1. And our v should be 4 minus 3x squared and v prime equals to minus 6x. And for our f prime x, so our f prime x equals to again this one multiplied by this one we will have 4 minus 3 x square multiplied by 1 minus this one multiplied by this one we will have x minus 3 minus 6x over 4 minus 3x square and then the whole thing square all right then we will simplify we will have 4 minus 3x square plus 6x square then minus 18x over 4 minus 3x square square so we simplify this one we will have 3x square 3x square minus 18x plus 4 over 4 minus 3x square square 10